my name is Ruby, and I'm the CEO, but my partner here, Luz, of Pen Cushion. Uh, our CFO Throughout the years, pen tapping has been a very big problem in teachers' classrooms, and it still is today. But what, what would you would you like to hear that we have a problem? We have a solution for that problem. The teachers and students will now be re re relieved to hear that Pen Cushion has introduced a product to help stop pen tapping, and still have the teachers teach and get their lesson. target market are teachers of all ages at, at any school and they're for students who still want a pen tap but it's also for teachers so that they can you know, help silence their the students and their problems but it can also help in their lecture. And our persona is one day a student named Billy walks into his teacher's classroom and he sees on the teacher's desk a foam pad and the teacher informs him that that phone pad is to help stop pen tapping and she and it's also to silence the sound of pen tapping the hard wood of the desk. Um, our marketing plan uh, is the price is two dollars and the pad is maybe fifty cents for our silencers. The place will be at teachers classrooms at brunch or lunch and the pro promote promotion if, if you buy two pads, you can get two free pen, si pen silencers, limited offers. Excuse me, she was wrong on it. Our pad is $2 and our silencers are 50 cents. So I just wanted to clear that up. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our com we are like, we've researched and we have not found anyone like us that's trying to end pen tapping. So there is no one out there like us because we are awesome. <laughs> and we went around the school interviewing teachers, seven teachers said they would use our product, eight teachers said that we should fix our product, eight teachers said that they think it was a good solution for pen tapping, and seven teachers said they would recommend it to other teachers. Our startup cost is $6.58. Because we only bought like um, foam scissors to fit our foam. Yeah. Fabric scissors. <coughs> our operating cost is $33.75. It will take a time of the fabric, $9.90 for $9.50. $9.50 is 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 $9.50. $9.50 is
The word toll was $40.33. As a team, we are asking for $50. Just in case if we mess up or we get taxed so that we still have extra to make the pro pro product itself. Our break even will happen after we sell 21 uh, pen cushions. It could be either we're aiming to sell our pads first, then our silencers in the second. So after we sell 21 of the foam pads, it's our break even, and that should happen after two months. Our sales team is gonna sell one each week. What happened to your logo? So, uh, great job, guys. I, I really like the presentation, and I, I think you guys all did a great job presenting. Um, one question I had around the surveying. So, you mentioned that the, some teachers had, uh, had said that you should modify or change the, the product or prototype. Did you get specific feedback on what those changes should be? Yes, they wanted, well, we had a prototype that we have here somewhere. <laughs> and. Overall, we didn't like how it seemed, and we took into notice what the teachers asked. They wanted it to be more colorful, and they wanted our logo, Action Without Distraction, to be more clear. And by that, we bought new materials that actually cost a lot more than what we bought this for. And we're going to put cloth around it. It's going to come in different variety of colors, and then we're getting puppy pens, which are like 3D pens to write on our logo. I'm confused about what the pad is and what the silencer is. Silencers, silencers go directly on the pen and the pads go on the desk. Now we're going to like demonstrate that in our skit. I, I really liked the um, consumer research slide. I thought it was great how you really laid out what people said and gave the lessons learned. That's a big part of starting a business, just getting right answers and um, asking the right questions. I was curious, how big a problem is pen tapping? Um, like in terms of how often does it happen in class if people are tapping pens? How often does a teacher tell you to stop tapping pens, Luz? Um, well, it, it happens very often. Um, I came up with the idea when Fernando was, he pen taps a lot in class and Mr. Cervantes got really frustrated. So, <laughs> so um, we, we came up with a product that will solve the problem. And do you think that students will buy it or do you think teachers will buy it? It's for our teachers. Um. It was, it was a great presentation. I think it's a very unique idea. Uh, could I follow up on the question when you say the teachers will buy it? So the teachers will buy the pen silencers and force the students to use it? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, um, not, not force them, but like, like... Well, if they see them tapping, they're just going to put it under... Well, we would explain it in the skit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you guys go back to your sales projection? Forty forty pads. Yeah. Um, how many how many teachers are at Woodside? A lot. <laughs> we only interviewed eight out of the countless many teachers. Yeah. One hundred. <laughs> <laughs> One hundred approximately one hundred and twenty five teachers. All right. Awesome. Um, so it, it would be cool. It would be cool to see um, in your marketing plan kind of a distribution of the teachers that you would market this to, and an explanation of, of that a little bit because that's really, that's really interesting. So you guys have a hundred people that could be willing to buy your product. And how many how many of these do you think they would each buy? Probably around like ten for like students they see individually as like pen tappers. Oh uh, so you guys have ten pen tappers in your class? It depends on what kind of class it is. Very rarely we understand that um, Students have to have some sort of movement. They might not be nervous, but it's just like a habit that they have. And it would be like 
it would let them allow them to pen tap without distracting their their peers. Uh, just lost comment on that. That's a good point. I mean, most students would not do it on purpose, <coughs> and rather than teachers buying for them and forcing them to use it, it's just a thought I would like to leave you with. Do you think you could use something else except a foam, which could be used as a as a rubber or something else that could be uh, put, on, put on the pen, which would, would stop the tapping at the end? It would make noise. Yeah, we tried various things, and they all echoed sound. So we found the one that made least sound, and it was fun. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Just one quick question on the profit, 5467. How long does it take to get to that profit? Profit after we sell all our... 40 of them, but is that over like one month or three oh, months? Oh, we have it in the month. We're planning on selling all this in two months. Two months, okay. Yes. Thank you. Did you want to say something? Yeah. I don't know if it was clear that we were just asking for $40, $50, $50, because if we make any mistakes, because we did do a lot of mistakes with our prototype, and we want to fix it, and that's why we're asking for $10 more dollars than we actually need. Give them a hand. Thank you. 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 Thank you.